Shalom, shalom, and welcome back. Today we are talking about charcoal fire. Most of us have bad memories associated with a certain place, day, sound, smell, or thing. A whiff of perfume worn by someone who stabbed us in the back. A song playing the moment the phone call came with the news that undid our world. Memories take form. And those forms, long afterward, paint painful memories before our eyes with fresh colors. The form of Peter's bad memory must have been an anthracia, which is the Greek word for charcoal fire. On the night that Jesus was arrested and taken to the home of the high priest, there was Peter, sulking about in the courtyard, warming himself before the charcoal fire. John chapter 18 verse 18 When a servant girl said to him, You also are now one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. And with that beginning of three denials at night before a charcoal fire, a frigid cold darkness crept its way into Peter's soul. Fast forward, and what do we find? Jesus has been crucified and bodily resurrected on the third day. One night, while Peter and six other disciples are at the Sea of Galilee, they decide to go fishing. But it was so lousy, Luck, luckless night, not a single fish was netted. Then, as dawn began to break, the first fingers of light appeared on the horizon. There stood a man on the beach. He shouted, Cast the net on the right side of your boat, and you will find some. John chapter 21 verse 6. Doing so, they hauled into the jaw-dropping catch of fish. It is the Lord, John said to Peter, and so it was. Swimming ashore, Peter approached Jesus, and what did he find? What awaited him? A charcoal fire. The word only occurs twice in the New Testament. Here and at Peter's betraying words. Here, as darkness disappeared and light shone, here, as the once dead Lord stood alive before him, here, before the charcoal fire that once burned like hot shame without him, was Peter before his saviour. What did Jesus do? He fed this hungry man. Then he told him three times, once for every betrayal, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. In other words, be a pastor of the church, care for the flock of the Father, purchased with the blood of Jesus. So that emblematic charcoal fire was altered in significance. Once a painful memory, it was transformed into an icon of redemption, divine love and forgiveness, a fire that never goes out. Friends, we worship the Lord who can take our most profound errors and most grievous faults and raise us up from them to stand before him alive, loved and made whole again. If you are unsure, you can just ask Peter. God bless and Shalom.